Okay, so survey is very similar to forms on Go High Level. The main difference is that you're going to be using some conditional logic with surveys, which you don't use uh, with forms, obviously. Forms, you're just gathering information, and people can submit them, and it doesn't matter what their answers are. They function the exact same. With surveys, um, you can actually change how the surveys function or what the lead will see based on their answers. So... You build them out the exact same as forms. You're going to have, you know, you're going to have the empty page, and you're going to drag in the information that you would like to know. However, when you have a multiple choice question on the survey, based on their answers, and you always want to make this question required, obviously, based on their answers, you can disqualify them immediately. You could disqualify them after they submit the the entire survey. Um, or you can direct them to other slides. And slides are just basically other sections of the survey. So, I don't know, let's, let's just drag this here. So, we have a question in here, have you been pre-qualified, right? And if they select yes, it's going to drag them over into slide two, or we uh, select or ask them about some more information. Or if they select no, it's gonna redirect them into slide three, or what we could also do is let's just go ahead and select disqualify immediately, okay? So top right, let's go ahead and hit save, and we'll hit preview. And one other thing to note about surveys is you don't have to add a submission button like you do with forms. So with forms, you drag over a button so they can submit it. With surveys, the button is pre-built within Go High Level. Um, but let's go ahead and fill this out, okay? And we'll go ahead and say we have been selected, and now you can see that it automatically redirects us um, to the page where we, we gather some more information. Okay. Right. Okay. And then submit. Now, if we refresh this, and let's look at the other situation we had. And now, in this case, we'll select no it automatically disqualifies us. It doesn't say that we're disqualified to, to the lead. It just says, hey, thanks. <laughs> and it doesn't collect any other information. And it will. this will not be stored, or this information will uh, not be stored and go high level. If you want to collect all the information, you'll actually disqualify after submit, which means that they'll continue to be walked through these slides. Um, so all the information will be stored in GHL and you'll have that data. So it's actually go ahead and preview this out now. Okay. So even if we select no, it will still ask us the questions because we selected um, disqualify on submission instead of disqualifying them immediately. So that's the difference between those two. Okay. Now, if we want to integrate this into things, there's an embed code. We can also directly send the link to, to the people that we want to send it to or we can place it right into the funnel, um, which we'll go over how to do that in the funnels section.